I was busy thinking about Baby, I got issues, but I love myself Baby, I got issues, but I love myself I don't like the way Hello fellow humans. This is my first texting video so I'm sorry if it doesn't come out good. This took a lot more time and work than I thought it would, so I hope you like it. I want to apologize in advance if I write anything that is offensive to transgender people. I'm part of the LGBTQIA plus community, but my only direct connection is having transgender friends. Disclaimer, there will be cuss words and small mentions of 18 plus activities. I also want to add that there will be Baku Deku in this video, so please don't ship shame. We only have positive vibes here relieved face. Red heart. Enjoy smiling face with hearts. In the problem children group chat. Guys. Help I have two big bumps on my chest. Wait it happened to you too? I thought it was just me. Um guys. I think I'm tripping out right now. Are you a guy? How did you? I'm a guy too. Can you extras stop spamming? I have a situation right now. Baku bro, I think it happened to all of us. Why am I a girl? Why am I a guy? Guys my boobs disappeared. I'm in heaven. Of course you are expressionless face. Why do I have sparkles? Boob sparkles. I have two bumps on my chest. I, those are tits dumbass. Wait what's going on? Midoriya, you didn't turn into a girl? Kero. No. Wait did you turn into a guy? Yes. Everyone let's calm down. We'll figure this out. Well we better figure it out right now because I don't want to be a chick. Now you know what it's like to be a woman. Okay let's do a head count. Who turned into the opposite sex? Everyone raising their hand because I am not about to type all that shit. Horizontal ellipsis. Midoriya you didn't turn into a girl? No. I don't think so. What do you mean? You don't have any physical changes? Check down their smirking face. For once the perv said something helpful. Wait check what? See if you have a pussy. Language. That's not manly bro. Good thing I'm not a man. Well technically right now you are. And agree ha 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 ha. Midoriya pulled on the spandex of his sweats to find that he had the genital of the opposite sex. It was then that Midoriya put the pieces together. Everyone's appearance had turned to that of the opposite sex because they all looked like the typical sex they were born as. The reason his appearance didn't change was because of something only a few people knew about. He is a trans man. He walked to stand in front of his full body mirror, and lifted up his shirt to find that he didn't have boobs. This would have been the best thing that had ever happened to him if it weren't for the situation that caused it. If everyone physically changed except for him, they would find out that he was a female. He started to panic trying to figure out a way to keep them from finding out. It's not like he could go back and say right away that his sex had changed the first time. Thankfully Bakuga was also thinking about the same thing. He was the only person in UA High that knew Midoriya was transgender. He knew that Deku probably hadn't figured it out yet. Considering he wasn't claiming to have changed sex. If anything the Dumbass was barely realizing it. Thinking bubble. Stupid Deku. What the hell is he thinking? In the meantime all he could do was distract their classmates until he got a chance to talk to him. How the fuck did this even happen? I do not recall casting a spell to change our sex. Wait you can do that? Yes. Can we focus please? I'd like to get my body back. Maybe we were hit with a quirk? When would that have happened though? Maybe it's a quirk from one of the villains that we were fighting the other day. Wait Midoriya did you check? Yeah, I'm a female. But how did you not know right away? The nerd is probably just flat chested. This is a tragedy sad pensive face. Earbuds headphones. Musical notes. Kicked purple perv grapes. Out of the group chat. Thank you Jiro. No problem. Can we get back to what Deku said? 
What Deku said is a possibility, but that was days ago. It's possible that there was a delayed reaction. That appears to be a logical explanation. But how long will it last? Well quirks like this typically last a day or so. Um, how do I pee? Oh shit. I'll go, I'm the closest. I'll join you. That may not be the best idea. Why? Because he won't be able to see her show him how to use the restroom. Yeah, but they aren't actually pulling their pants down right. Purple perv grapes. Broke into the group chat. How the? I need to use the restroom too. Earbuds headphones. Musical notes. Kicked purple perv grapes. Out of the group chat. Hagakure. Do you have tights? Yeah. Why? I can put my skirt over the tights. And just pull my skirt down with my tights still on. That can work. I'll bring them with me. I'll meet you guys there. Is no one going to question how Manita got back into the GC? Okay. Man with light skin tone walking. In Midoriya's and Bakugou's direct messages. Catch and I messed up. No shit nerd. They are focused right now. But what am I going to do when they figure out that I'm trans? Those dumbasses won't be able to figure it out. They will. I can't think of a way out of this. What am I going to do? Bakuga sighed. Deku was spiraling. And he needed to stop it. I'm going to your dorm. What? I said I'm going to your room dumbass. Now unlock the door. I'm almost there. But why? Because you're spiraling. No I'm not. I'm perfectly fine. I'm not stupid you fucking nerd. I know you better than anyone else. Now open up. In real life. Midoriya heard a loud knock on his door. Thinking bubble. That was fast. Deku walked over to the door and opened it. He saw Bakuga standing there slightly panting. He had on basketball shorts and a loose tank top. His hair had also reached halfway down his back. And his boobs were fairly huge. If you're going to check me out as a girl too, fucking let me in before someone sees me. Midoriya snapped out of it, and moved to the side to let Bakuga in. Little did they know that just as Bakuga was walking in, Su, Eureka, and Hagakure all saw someone with long blonde hair walk in. Just before the door to Midoriya's room closed, they exchanged glances, confirming that they all saw the same thing, but it was something they would have to say for later. Right after Midoriya closed the door, Bakuga pulled him into a hug. We're going to figure this out, okay nerd? Midoriya relaxed into his embrace, hugging him back, and Bakuga could feel him slightly shaking. Kachan, what's going to happen if they find out? They won't. But what if they do? He stood there and pulled Deku in closer to himself. He still had the same height, so he was tall enough to kiss Deku's forehead. Then they'll accept you. You don't know that. They accepted you when you came out as bisexual. And we're not the only people in the class that aren't straight. If they accept you for being bisexual. Then they'll support you as a trans guy. Plus those extras know not to fuck with me. Bakuga let go of his boyfriend. And dragged him to sit on the bed with him. Deku's eyes were glued to the floor. But then he looked up at Bakuga. The blonde hated the look on his face. He pulled the green-haired boy on top of his lap and hugged him from behind, placing a soft kiss on his shoulder. He knew Deku was strong mentally and physically, but when it came to this, he felt so small. Him being transgender was one of the few things that made him feel so vulnerable and fragile. We'll figure this out, okay? Okay. In the problem children group chat. Now that we've established what's going on, all we have to do is wait it out until tomorrow. I float cherry blossom, removed mini mite broccoli, and angry Pomeranian explosion, from the group chat. What was that for? We can't let Midoriya and Bakuga see this. Why? Because something's off about them right now, especially Midoriya. You know now that I think about it, Midobro was acting kind of sus earlier. They hear nothing? That's suspicious. 
That's weird. That's true. Wait, what made you think that? We saw Bakuga walk into Midoriya's room, Kero. But they are dating so it isn't that weird. No, something was different. I mean if we think about it, it was kind of weird how they just stopped responding. Maybe it's because they are spending time together, and don't want to be bothered. Purple Perv Grapes. Broke into the group chat. Maybe they are busy doing something smirking face. How the fuck does he keep doing that? Earbuds headphones. Musical notes. Kicked purple perv grapes. Out of the group chat. Um, chow. Anyway, so. That doesn't make sense though. Why now of all times? Plus Baku bro was making a huge shit out of it earlier. So him going radio silent on us just doesn't seem right. I believe this is starting to invade their privacy. SHHI Ida. Nobody asked. Something just doesn't add up though. Everyone knew right away because we had obvious physical changes. The guy's hair grew and they have boobs. Why would Midoriya be the only guy that didn't have long hair and boobs? Everyone being silent because they can't think of anything. Todoroki we're looking at you. Why me? You're the conspiracy theory guy. What do you think? Well, maybe Midoriya isn't a guy. What do you mean he's not a guy? Of course he's a guy. No wait. I think he's onto something. Wait, Todoroki when you say guy, what do you mean? I mean he has a penis. Oh shit. What? Wait, do you think he's? Yeah. Can you guys fill us in on what's going on? We can't read your minds. Midoriya is a guy, but biologically he may be a female. Wait, so are you saying he's transgender? Now that I think about it, he always uses the guy's shower early in the morning and late at night. A time where no one would see him. I've never seen him shirtless in the changing room either. He always wears a tank top under his clothes. Wait, why were you paying attention to him not being shirtless? That's not important right now. He was also the only guy that wore a rash guard when we all went to the pool. Maybe he was wearing a binder underneath it. That's why we never saw his bare chest. That would make a lot of sense. Okay I'm stopping it right here. This is an invasion of privacy, and not any of our business. I think it's too late for that now I either. But why wouldn't he tell us? Have you guys ever considered the fact that he might be scared? Weren't you guys scared to come out as being LGBTQIA+. I mean I do care about our other classmates that are part of the community, but I wasn't. The same goes for me, but that's because our parents are so accepting. Not everyone is as fortunate as we are. I was terrified. It's not like I care about my father's approval but my family. I was afraid to lose them. So was I to be honest. I almost backed out, but since Kirishima was coming out with me, I was able to do it. Believe it or not, I was scared too. I definitely was. Same here. Yeah, Kero. But I don't get it. Most of us are part of the community, so what makes him think we would reject him? There's prejudice within the community too. But we're practically family. Does he really think that we'd reject him like that? I understand where you're coming from, but people are afraid to even come out to their blood relatives, we can't take it to heart. That's true, but we'll always sparkles. Love sparkles. Him. So what now? What do you mean? Now that we know, do we approach him about it? I would say no and to let him come to us, but he'll probably backward when we let him back into the chat anyway. That's true. So do we just wait? I guess that's all we can do at this point. As long as he knows that we love and accept him when he backwards. Should we add them back? Might as well. We'll have to do it eventually. I float cherry blossom. Added mini mite broccoli. And angry Pomeranian explosion. To the group chat. In real life. Bakugou and Deku had ended up cuddling on Deku's bed, with him fast asleep in Bakugou's arms. 
They had both turned off their phones because of all of the notifications. It had made Deku nervous, knowing that they were getting closer to figuring him out, and he had ended up crying. It tired him out, and after having fallen asleep for a good amount of time, Bakuga reached for his phone. His eyes blew wide when he looked at the amount of notifications from the group chat. 99 plus notifications. What the fuck? He whisper yelled, but slightly panicked when the green haired boy in his arms moved a little bit. When he saw that he was still fast asleep, he let out a sigh of relief. Angry Pomeranian explosion is online. Why the fuck do I have over 100 notifications? Backroad. Five minutes later. What the actual fuck? This is none of your fucking business. I tried telling them that. Baku bro calm down. We all support and accept him. That doesn't change the fact that you tried digging into it before he was ready. Why do you think he never talks about his dad? Why he hasn't seen him for years? He, he didn't accept him. Bakuga being quiet because it's true but he doesn't want to say it. It all makes sense now. I felt kind of bad before, but now I feel terrible. Well you wouldn't if you just waited for him to come out to you. He trusts you guys. He wanted to come out to you guys, but not until he was ready. In real life. Midoriya could feel something hot against his skin. Really hot. It made him go from being partially aware of his surroundings, to being fully alert. Kachin's whole body was radiating heat off his skin, and his quirk was about to go off. Kachin your quirk. Bakuga snapped out of his crazed state from looking at the group chat, when he realized that he had unconsciously started to activate his quirk. He didn't know why his whole body was heating up, but he backed away fast, causing himself to fall off the bed. Deku crawled to the side of it and looked down to see if he was okay. Kachin are you okay? He groaned and rubbed the back of his head. Yeah I'm good. But Deku, there's something you need to see. He had a worried expression as Kachin got up to sit next to him on his bed, and gave him his phone. He opened up the group chat, and covered his mouth as he backward. All Kachin could do was comfort him as tears streamed down his boyfriend's cheeks. It was only with him that Bakuga showed his soft side. Th, they know. I, I. He put the phone down, and cried into Kachin's chest. The blonde lowered his head so that he could give Deku a kiss on his head. I'm sorry that they found out before you were ready, but look, they accept you for who you are. Bakuga grabbed the phone, and scrolled through the text messages in the group chat. Deku pulled away just far enough to be able to look down at the phone. See, they love you like family, and support you. You have nothing to worry about, okay? Deku looked up at him and nodded. Thank you Kachin, for everything. The blonde smiled lovingly at the boy before him, before kissing him on his forehead. The green-haired boy pulled away, and grabbed his own phone. Kakan just looked over his shoulder, and held him supportively. Mini Mike Broccoli, is online. Hey guys. Guys I'm really so. No, don't apologize. If anything we should be saying sorry. We should have never tried to pry into your life and secret. I'm sorry Midoriya. Everyone agreeing and apologizing. Deku started to cry as he looked at the messages, but they weren't sad tears. Bakuga just held on to him, as they both sat there feeling happy from all the love and support. Thank you everyone. I really appreciate it, but I promise that I would have told you guys eventually. I trust you. Well you have nothing to worry about now. We're here for you and accept you. Smiling face with hearts. Hey round face what's with the fucking emoji? Are you trying to? Sorry about that. I hit him. Fjjj tobacco bro. Fjt help haha. Fjtik vi can't haha. It kinda sucks though. What does? I mean like, we're all gonna turn back to our normal selves so midoriya. Oh. Horizontal ellipsis. Oh yeah ha. You know what fuck it. I'm sorry that you're going to switch to the wrong sex tomorrow, but you can get bottom surgery soon. Yeah, and we'll be here for you. 
every step of the way Kero. Thank you so much. I'm so happy right now, and I'll be fine. I've dealt with this for 16 years. Two more won't hurt me. Well now that we have that out of the way, are you guys down to play Smash Bros in the common room? Oh hell yeah. Totally. I'll join. So will I Kero. I don't wanna waste my time with you extras. What? Are you scared that you'll lose? What did you just say shitty hair? I'm going to crush you. We'll be there. Person face palming. In real life. Midoriya woke up the next morning not being in the best mood. After feeling relief from knowing he had his friend's support, he spent the rest of the day feeling like a real guy, but that was over now. He would just have to wait two long years before he could get bottom surgery. He sat up on his bed and was about to get off of it, when he saw something. He was wearing loose basketball shorts, so he could easily see a huge bulge between his legs. Thinking bubble. What the hell? He stood up off the bed, and pulled the front of his shorts and underwear away from him. His eyes widened when he saw that he still had a penis. He was in shock. Almost as if on autopilot, he walked towards the mirror and lifted his shirt. His chest was still flat, and he didn't have a vagina anymore. He didn't know why he hadn't changed back, but he didn't care. He was overjoyed as he ran to grab his phone to open the group chat. In the problem children group chat. Is everyone back to normal? Yeah. So I am. Mini Mike Broccoli is online. Guys you'll never believe it. What is it? Is something wrong? No. Everything is perfect. I didn't change back. Deku what are you talking about? I mean I don't have a vag anymore. I didn't go back. Are you sure? Yeah. My chest is flat too. OMG. I'm so happy for you. I'm on my way. Wait what? I said I'm on my way so stay there Dumbus. Angry Pomeranian explosion. Is a flying. Wait. Mini Mike Broccoli. Is a flying. Deku ran out of his room as fast as he could towards Kachin's room, until they saw each other in a hallway near the common room. They had both been panting from running, but only a second later Deku ran up to him and jumped into Kachin's arms, with his own around his neck, smiling and laughing from joy. Bakuga smiled into the crook of Deku's neck, holding him close with his arms wrapped around his lower back, pulling him in. They slightly pulled away from each other, when Deku put his hands on Bakuga's chest, and went on his tiptoes to kiss him. Bakuga let his hands slide down to firmly place them on Deku's hips as he kissed back. He smiled into the kiss which ended up breaking it. He had a mischievous look in his eyes and a suspicious smirk, as he took one of his hands off of Deku's hips. Deku's eyes blew wide when he felt catch and pull the front part of the spandex of his shorts and underwear towards himself, and looked down at what it hid. I like the new look. Deku froze in place from the shock, but scolded his boyfriend right after. He had a shit-eating grin when he looked back up at his flustered Deku. He pulled back Yuga's hands away, but the blonde just put his hands back on Deku's hips. The taller leaned in for another kiss, when they heard a loud voice which they both turned their heads to see. Get a room. The redhead had cupped his hands around his mouth from afar, with a grin on his lips. Standing around him were their classmates wearing big smiles, and some of them laughing, joining in on the teasing. Bakuga started to get annoyed, but it immediately disappeared when he saw the smile on Deku's lips, and the joyful look in his eyes. Midoriya stood there looking at his classmates, and was softly held by his boyfriend from behind. They all ran up to them to give them a group hug, with the whole class almost falling over in the process. Deku laughed with everyone else, and it was then that he knew everything was going to be okay. He felt like the happiest person in the world. Hi humans. Thank you for watching until the end. I wanna give props to people that do this on the regular. This took a lot of time and effort, but it was worth it in the end. You have my respect. Anyways I hope you liked it, and have a nice day human smiling face. Red heart.